are you and welcome back to this uh, hosting tutorials now in this tutorial what we're going to do is we're going to install wordpress but first we need to log in so just to refresh what we did in the previous video just going to show you again you should check your email check your spam box and make sure you have your pdf your password and username okay to assess your control panel now all i'm going to do is just going to copy my username from the PDF and paste on the username section and I'm going to copy my password which is a unique password to your control panel is a different password from your membership okay and I'm going to click login okay now I just going to open another window here so we can see that this new domain so the domain I'm going to use is a different domain which is how they do it info and you can see I have this uh, website and the construction message or it's just this message so people don't see an empty page but don't worry about this for now because I will show you as well how you can create these HTML pages and put into your domain while you're creating the website now but what we're gonna do we're gonna install WordPress into this domain now in our control panel all you need to do is scroll down to the bottom Okay, right here where it says Sort Tackles Apps Installer. Okay, we're gonna click WordPress. Now, gonna click Install, and we're gonna choose the domain. So I have a couple of domains here. Now, if you just started your account and you only have one domain for now, uh, I will show you as well how to add more domains later on. But for now, we're just gonna concent concentrate on your first domain. So I'm just gonna select my, the domain I wanna use for this installation okay now there is the domain next step is in a directory so the directory for your first domain if you want the WordPress to appear on the domain itself you just delete that now the directories we'll talk about this in the in the upcoming videos but for now you want to delete that okay then you scroll down you can give your blog a name okay we can call it my new blog and my WordPress blog we can always change this later so I'm going to leave it as it is and then you create a password or username you know I'm going to leave this one for now and I'm going to leave this one for now because this is just for demonstration purpose then I will change this later now when you create passwords I recommend you to use this password generator okay because it always generates the best password and here is uh, add me email now add me email the system already created one for me here but you can put a different email if you want or use this one I will show you as well how you set up uh, 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 email address in your own domain so I'm gonna leave that one there because we're gonna use it on a upcoming video uh, login attempts you can turn this on if you want to be safe I would tick and turn this on and if it limits the login attempts so to avoid your website getting hacked okay and now here we're going to put a domain that uh, use your normal domain if you're not using gmail yet i recommend everyone to use gmail because it's the best email to use one is because it's go you know is as double protection compared to the other email providers you know if you want to log in to your gmail in a different account you can actually you have to um I said, do not confuse you, let's, let's leave it like this for now, but use Gmail, okay? Because I'm going to show you a safety feature on Gmail, which is actually very handy. So, I'm going to use my Gmail here. Because now, once I click install, I'm going to get an email with all my uh, details to my new WordPress. So, I'm just going to click install. And as you can see, is is you know one click install WordPress is installed, and now I can go and check the website just by clicking on the domain here. Redirect to, to my okay. We need to open this one because I had a redirect on it. Now, if I click the domain here and hit refresh, there it is. My WordPress is now installed. 
Okay, so here is how to install your WordPress. Done to login. If you forgot the details, all you need to do is go to the email because, like I said, the system will send you a password reminder. You just open. Always check your spam box because for some reason sometimes ends up on your spam box. But as you can see, it shows me all the details there. Okay, for me to all I need to do is now the password is admin. Sorry, the username is admin and the password is this one here. So you just copy and paste. Okay, remember, login. And as you can see, my WordPress is installed into my domain. Now, another thing you can do as well in these details is actually create a new label. You may want to watch the videos how to use Gmail, how to create labels and then keep uh, these passwords, you know, inside of that label. So you'll always know which domain belongs to because you always see it once you install it, what domain is being installed on. So there it goes, here's how to install WordPress into your server. Now in the next video, because there's a lot of requests for this one, so we're going to jump a, a bit and I'm going to show you how to use your FileZilla or FTP protocol. I'm Zanuns, thanks for watching, please comment below this video, rate and subscribe if you're on YouTube, bye bye for now.